It was just a normal day in Trade Calamity until I found out about this new spooky looking accessory that I've never seen before, so I decided to try it out. Occult Skull Crown is an accessory for those who desire pain. Only a masochist would ever wear this. Equipping this Edgelord accessory grants the player a unique ability. It converts debuffs into positive effects, such as Armor Crunch, Broken Armor, War Cleave, Eye Chore, cancels defense penalty and provides a lot more defense. Slow and Chilled cancels movement penalty and provides more movement speed. Confused cancels the reverse controls and gives significant boost to defense, damage, and critical strike chance. Darkness, Blackout, and Obstructed cancels light reduction and gives significant boost to defense, damage, and critical strike chance. Weak debuff makes you strong by making you touch grass and quit League of Legends, as it gives a boost in melee damage, defense, and movement speed. Keep in mind that this accessory grants no immunity to the debuffs, and to use this accessory, you must get inflicted by the debuffs. So you cannot exploit it by using an immunity accessory such as Ang Shield. It is very risky and dangerous to use, as most of the time you need to be hit by the enemies to get the debuffs. Perfect for masochists, such as those who play ranked in League of Legends, or those who play Genshin Impact for fun. To craft it, you need these weird nightmare, darkness, edgy stuffs. And even stress pills due to how stressed you are from working a 9 to 5 job while still uploading videos on YouTube. I am in pain. Oh, and also, Laudanum, a reference to the game Darkest Dungeon and Amnesia. Which I forgot to mention earlier, the Occult Skull Crown is also a reference to the game Darkest Dungeon, as its appearance is based on a mask worn by the cultist Acolytes. You can also wear this accessory as a helmet to complete your roleplay as a CBT BDSM Edgelord, if you're into that. Quick funny fact, Calamity Mod used to have a unique mechanic called Stress. It was long removed, but it was inspired by a similar mechanic from the game Darkest Dungeon. Other than the ability, it also fills up Rage Meter 1% per second while out of combat. It also increases defense by 5, movement speed by 5%, and causes damage taken to half the Adrenaline Meter instead of losing all of it. Very basic mid stuffs, just had to mention it to make this video educational. That's about it, see ya!